Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be cracking some packs, but we're going to do things a little bit differently. Um, it's not necessarily what we're cracking, but how we got the packs. Um, at my local gaming store, BC Comics and Games, uh, it's also the sponsor of this channel, they have an absolutely amazing community uh, for Magic. And one of the gentlemen that plays up there, Will, uh, mentioned like a month or so ago, could be wrong on that date, uh, but he said he wanted to start up his own YouTube channel, cracking packs and whatnot, and just you know sharing the love of the game that he has that we all have. And I was all about it. I I love watching those kind of videos. Um, so he he shared his channel information with me. I watched it and I shared it on Twitter. You know, kind of promoted a little a little bit, saying, "Hey, check out this new guy." And as a thank you, he sent me a message saying, hey, you know, I want to do something special for you, so I'm leaving a booster box at BC Comics for you as a thank you, which I, of course, said, you know, this that's completely unnecessary, that's way too much, uh, but he insisted, and I just, I thought that was absolutely amazing, because I really didn't do a whole lot, I mean, I essentially just shared it, so, but, like I said, his stuff is absolutely amazing, um, down in the description, we will put a link, um, so what we're going to do is instead of just cracking all these packs for the fun of it, which, I mean, we're going to crack them, but um, we're going to give some stuff away. So uh, to start off, the, um, the last video we did, yeah, last video, was the uh, the Shards of Alara tournament box, and we said that if you commented on that, um, that would put you into a drawing uh, to win a pack of cards. Well, now you're going to win more than just a pack. You're going to win a couple packs. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and pull up our Wheel Decide. I love that. Uh, and everyone's name is in here. And, you know, even was 3 mtg right there. Uh, possibly win some of these packs. You got me. Can I, you know, circle of life type thing? Maybe not. But anyways, uh, we're going to go to random.org. Roll a couple six-sided dice. Nine. So we're going to go ahead and click on this wheel nine times. And the person that comes up is going to be the winner of these packs of cards. Which, by the way, you have to get a hold of me. I keep saying this, and I've yet to have anyone actually claim their prize. I seriously have one, two, three, four... I've got five prize packs sitting on my desk. Okay? And not one has been claimed. If I don't know where to send the stuff, if you don't get a hold of me and say, this is where you send it to, I can't get it to you. I just, I'm not that good. Trust me. If I had that kind of mental capabilities, I'd be picking seven lucky numbers and never working on another day in my life. That's what I would be doing with that kind of mental power. Anywho, let's go ahead and fire this off. I already forgot the number we're going. Uh, nine times. So good luck to everybody that's involved here. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six seven eight and nine and let's see who the winner is going to be tim yeah! tim you sir are the winner of these dominaria packs we're gonna go ahead and open these bad boys up right here right now so we'll go ahead and flip this over all right let's see what kind of good stuff you're gonna get so these are your packs tim if i can get them open you know, occasionally just it's one or two packs that just give me the business. Don't know what it is. Anyways, we'll skim through this stuff just in case there's like a rat colony or something. But there we go. Now we're focused. Uh, Voltaic Servant, if you want that, I'll include that because that just seems like pauper gold. All right, so we got a Chainer's Torment. We got a Triumph of Gerard and a rare is that there? Nope, we got one more. We got Orcish Vandal and then our rare is oh, Mythic. You got a Naru Meha Master Wizard. All right. Well, Tim is off to a good start, sir. Very, very good. Let's see what we got next year. Anything good? Uh, nothing in the comments.
commons. All right, we got ourselves a wizard's retort. Uh, final parting. Uh, thorn elemental and is oh I saw the artifact, but it is a Traxos scourge of Krug. I thought you got the mox. I really did. I got excited. Not bad cards though. Not bad cards. I'm actually I just played a, a deck at this last F and M with Traxos. Uh, did not go well, but I found the tweaks that needed to be made. Oh, anything good? Anything good? Doesn't look good. All right. All right, we got a Nature Spiral. Fight with Fire. Sage of the Lot Nam. And. Oh, you got a Foil Warcry Phoenix. And. Oh, Teshar, Ancestor's Apostle. All right, all right. All right, let's see what we can get out of this last pack for you. Oh, I forgot. We're looking to see if there's any... Doesn't look like it, though. Run amok. I love that card. All right, we got a Fungal Plots. Sorcerer's Wand. Memorial to Glory. And... Naban, Dean of Iteration. All right. Well, tell you what, Tim, like I said, you are going to get uh, essentially all the the rares and the foils out of this. If there's any of these uncommons you do want, please let me know, um, and we can send those out too. I just I do my best to keep shipping down to a minimum, and uh, shipping up to eight cards I can get away with for seventy nine cents, eighty cents. So, uh, <laughs> anywho. So that good stuff. This actually, this is not some bad packs here. This is not bad at all. I love this guy. Love that guy. Definitely including that. And then this guy, if you want to. So it is. You see the cards. You let me know what you want, and uh, and we'll kind of go from there. Next, let's open up some more packs. Let's crack some and just kind of see what we get. Now, these ones, essentially, anything good that comes out of these, these are going to go into the patron box, the build-a-pack box uh, that we have for our patrons, which for only 4 bucks, you can essentially get the same that you pay for a, pa a booster pack. You get a booster pack. Um, and... Uh, we're going to take anything good, nothing, no junk, but if we get anything good, it's going to go into uh, into that box for the patrons. Lingering Phantom, Zaf Zalfrin Void, um, I think that's good. We'll put that off to the side. And Tempest Dijin, I don't think that's good. Um, I'll check the price on it, but I don't think that's, that's good. So we're going to go ahead and toss that stuff to the side. Let's see what other kind of good stuff we can get here. And... Uh, for those of you that are interested, uh, for the patron, Patreon, uh, for the $10 one, you actually get a couple packs of uh, standard plus the Build-A-Pack box, um, which has some pretty amazing stuff in it. Uh, I know we've got two cards in there that's over that's over 20 bucks. So we got Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. We got a Juggernaut. First Eruption, boo. And Slimefoot the Stowaway. This guy, you know, I might put him in the uncommon, or the common slot in that box, because he's actually not a bad card. He really is not. So. Oh, and, oh, I almost forgot to tell y'all. We're sitting at 450, 460, somewhere in there. 350, 360, sorry. Uh, subscribers, when we hit 400, we're going to do another big giveaway, so... Uh, share these videos, share them around, you know, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Get some people involved. Let's get to, uh, 400 people so I can give you all more free stuff. Icy Manipulator, Time of Ice, Seal Away, that'll go in there, and, oh, took her. Eh, that's really not worth nothing. But, yeah, we'll put this, we'll put that in the, the commons spot. Anything good. Can't believe we haven't seen a single rat yet. 
All right, we got Sentinel the Pearl Trident. We got Spore Swarm. We got Juggernaut and oh, we got a Foil Divest and oh, we got a Demon Lord Belzen Lock. We'll throw that in there. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. What other kind of good stuff we got? Any rats? Come on, rats. No rats. Lingering Phantom. Oops. Sorcerer's Wand. Dreadshade. Uh, I don't think it is, but I'll check it out. If it's not, I'll go ahead and pull these out. And we got uh, Quendi. Pride of Themereth. Uh, Don't have any more packs over here. Let me reach over here into the box. I'll grab a few more. I really want something good to go in that box. I really do. Alright. Memorial to Unity. Settle the score. Lich's Mastery. Uh, I don't think that's worth something. I could be wrong. We did get a... F oh, no. That's not a foil. But this we got a foil behind that. Wait a second. What? Okay. It felt like we had a foil back there. I swear to you. It really did. Okay. Never mind. I'm crazy. I don't know what's going on. I got no excuse. All right. And you know, I'll go ahead and I'll save some more of these packs. Uh, let's go ahead and fire that off here. Um, if you comment on this video, we'll do another uh, another one of these fun little drawing ones where. We'll pick someone and give you a few packs out of this box that was generally given to us by Was3MTG. Memorial of Genius, Ballad Soothsayer, Josu Vetch. I don't think that's anything, but, uh, oh, this, I had high hopes. I really did, and we just, nothing really came of it. Let's see what we got in this pack. We got an opt. This is better than a stick in the eye. Alright, we got Memorial to Folly. We got Diligent Excavator. Uh, Banalish Marshall. I think that's a good one. We did get a foil on this one. And it is a Adventurous Impulse. And a Baird Steward of Argive. Um, I'm pretty sure that's still something... And I'll double check on the foil. But, uh, you know what, Taylor, we're going to do? This came in the package as well. I'll tape to it, at least. So, so we got a card signed by Was3. And then we got this little note. And I want to read this all to you. It's, this was kind of nice. Uh, thank you for all of your support. You are an amazing human being. Aw, oh, thank you. Uh, thank you for helping me with my channel and watching my videos. Not a problem. I love watching packs get cracked. It's honestly one of my favorite things. Uh, thanks for supporting this amazing MTG community. We do have an amazing MTG community. Uh, I can't deny that. Keep up the great videos. Keep casting those spells and keep being you. I will do my best, sir. Thank you, yours truly, Will, a.k.a. Was3MTG. So, once again, I, I can't say thank you enough. Uh, a full booster box. That's just kind of, that's kind of fun on a bun right there. Uh, we'll open up just a couple more, just because I feel like cracking some more packs. See what kind of good stuff we can get. Ooh, we got Shizik, Soothsayer, Forebear's Blade, and Urgros, the Empty One. All right. Memorial to Unity, 
Memorial to Glory. Jaya's Immolating Inferno. And this one. This actually it's not a bad card. I don't think it's worth anything, but oh, I'm putting these in the wrong pile. That's not worth nothing. Okay, I you know, I need to move these away from my desk. Because if I can just reach them, I'm just gonna keep opening packs. I was planning on a five minute video that ain't happening now. Alright, we got Eldest Reborn. We got Howling Gollum. Oath of Teferi. That might be worth something. I'll toss that in the pile and check it out. And Baird, Steward of Argive. Alright, these are the last packs. I promise you that. Last packs. Untamed Kivu. Gia's Blessing. Uh, Kamal Druidic Vow, and we got Halar, the Fire Fletcher. Last pack, find something good for these wonderful patrons. If you sign up now, it's not going to be too late. You can join our June uh, patrons. We'll be opening up some fun stuff. This is going to be fun in a bun. Alfame Druid, Damping Sphere, that goes in the good pile. Clifftop Retreat think we will and whisper blood liturgist i don't think it's worth anything oh but we did get an emblem all right so what got added to the uh build a box do a blank on words there for a second we got a cliff top top retreat damping sphere and that's going to go in the common slot uh oath of teferi possibly adventures impulse foil that's not going in there. Uh, the Benelish Mar Marshal, if it's worth something, I'll put it in there. Um, I don't think... I don't think this is, but like I said, I'll check. Same with the Dreadshade. Uh, foil Dive Vest. Um, yeah, that'll go in there too. Uh, Demon Lord Belzenlock will go in there. Seal Away is going to go in there. Slime Foot. If he's actually worth something, I'm going to put him in... Um, Honestly, he should be. It. This is a good... I think it's an underrated card. I really do. Um, and then we got the Tempest de Jin, and then we got the Void. Um, so these are all, assuming there were something, uh, are going to go into that Build-A-Pack box that we do for our patrons. Like I said, if you sign up now, you can get into uh, our June bit, and it's just going to be fun and a bun, lots of cool stuff. Check out our last Patreon videos. Uh, some pretty good stuff was pulled. So, Anyways, uh, I want to thank you all for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do me a huge favor. Click that like button, hit subscribe, hit the little bell notification icon deedly thingy. Uh, that way you can tell when we have new episodes coming out. And then share this. Share it with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, ChuckwagonMTG. Now, if you do me one last favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.